morning. Oh. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. Drop the bag! Leave the meat, mister! Leave! You don't want me chasing you! Kyle! Heal! Damn you, bushy-tailed bastard! <sighs> and Kyle, don't think about coming back! Well, well. Got your bag. Thank you, thank you, sir. Bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm. Uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Please, if I'm to attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy. Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the fellers who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man had thought like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. At least, that's what I tell myself. Or it can get you killed. But hey, good luck. Photography is not that interesting to the observer. Unless I am eaten, that is. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. 
You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. well. To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh, here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. On the other hand, looks like they may be dead to you. This is a fool of an idea, I tell you. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. Help! My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea? Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I'm just checking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia-phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. A much, much longer tube, and a cave to hide in, with bars on the outside. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. So... You think that photograph will come out? I can't say with certainty, but I'm hopeful, sir. I'm due some good luck, no? <laughs> Carry on like this, I'm not sure you are. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> So, you're still alive. Huh. Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Good Mustang. Come on. Move it up. Come on, horses. Yeah. Move. 
Get up! Go on now, Holly! Yeah! You want your likeness taken? Go then! my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the, uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here. I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. You know, horses seem like a fine subject for you. You maybe think about documenting animal life of the farmyard variety from now on? <laughs> yes, you had me there. A wild horse is a different beast to his domesticated brother. Very good, very good. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least there's nothing out here that's likely to eat me. There isn't, is there? Creep up on you, you know. Oh, 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 Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. Oh, what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> the ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. Oh, that little beach. Wars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, the gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> Quite. It's hardly fair. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? 
Stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Straight ahead. Over to the left. Right over there. Closer now. Closer. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. Stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just just there, please. So so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might it might just save him from the taxidermist. Maybe I want this monster stuffed in on display. Well, that's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. I don't like this. Not one bit. Keep going. Through the palms. Oh, it disappeared toward the back of the island. You'll be fine. Just don't step on it. Big dozy lizard, rouse yourself. Oh, he's awake. I hope you're slow. No, 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 no. Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway. I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Doc 
doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Well, I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh! Oh! Ah, damn! You are right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know... I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Good luck, sir. Although, as we both know, I'm the one who needs it. The photographs. What are you going to do with them? Find somewhere to exhibit them, I guess. I should hope you'll come and view them. Sure will. If, uh... If I can. <laughs> <laughs>